Can a laser damage a surveillance camera? And can it damage it to the point of breaking? We have seen protesters with lasers aimed at security cameras attempting to blind or break them. We took three different types of cameras and a variety of different lasers to test this out. We tested lasers on a variety of output power, such as a pet laser with roughly one to five milliwatts of power to a several hundred dollar Gatling style laser, which outputs around 30,000 milliwatts. We then shined a laser at distances of 5, 10, 20, 40, and 100 feet with the lights both on and off. From our testing, we could summarize our findings down to three main points. One, starting out, it is very difficult for a human to train a laser on an object from roughly five feet away and further without their hands shaking off target. We found that using a clamp to clamp the laser steady to a stationary object to be the best means of consistently blinding a camera. Two, from roughly 50 feet away or further, blinding a camera is the net result, with permanent damage unlikely. Bubble domes were easier to blind, as the light would refract back into the lens, so being 100% on target was not a necessity. Bullet and turret style cameras were slightly harder to blind, as the target is smaller and inherently harder to hit. 3. Someone looking to do sizable damage to a camera with a laser will find it difficult for two reasons, mainly that you need to keep the laser steady for a long period of time, and you will also need to be physically closer to the camera to do damage. From our testing, the high power lasers were able to easily damage a camera from roughly 40 feet away, but that would only burn a few pixels on the sensor. So finally, we set up our higher power lasers to roughly 10 feet away from our cameras and left the beams trained on the lenses for roughly four to five minutes to see if we could really make an impact. As it turns out, we were able to fatally break multiple security cameras beyond usability and at the very least obscure the image past usefulness to which the camera would have to be replaced.